it is obviously expected that mutant strains of virus will arise. Actually, for coronaviruses, one of the reasons that they are successful is that they have found a way to limit mutation uh, lower than what it otherwise would be. A large number of mutations have already been identified in strains of coronavirus 2, uh, which is the cause of COVID-19. It would not be surprising if some mutations increase the transmissibility of the virus. This was actually observed in the SARS coronavirus 1 outbreak. What is meant by a mutant virus or a viral variant strain? Well, take for example, and with coronavirus, the spike protein. While there are other proteins and RNA molecules which could become mutated, it is the spike protein which binds with the host receptor. It is against the spike protein that antibodies act, and so obviously changes in this protein uh, are important when we consider infection and the action of vaccines. Uh, so uh, this protein has uh, more than 1,200 amino acids in a row, and 23 of these then attach sugars. I've indicated a couple of positions here. So the amino acid histidine is located at site 69, valine at, at site 70, lysine at site 417, glutamic acid at site 484, and asparagine at site 501. These are the amino acids present in the original sequence. Let's call that the wild type. A variant strain of coronavirus was isolated in the UK, and it is informally known as the UK variant, although there are more official ways of labeling variants uh, as given here. And uh, it had a number of uh, changes from the original coronavirus, more than a dozen, uh, of which several affected this spike protein, such as a deletion of the histidine and valine amino acids at sites 69 and 70, they simply aren't there, and the change of the asparagine amino acid at site 501 to tyrosine, so that would be written n 501 Y, where N is the abbreviation for asparagine and Y is the abbreviation for tyrosine. Other variations were observed in a strain first identified in South Africa, but now known to be in the United States and in other parts of the world as well. Uh, the deletion present in the UK strain is not present. Uh, however, the change in uh, the site 501 from asparagine uh, to tyrosine is present, and there are additional changes in the spike protein. The lysine at site 417 is replaced by asparagine, and the glutamic acid at site uh, 484 is replaced by lysine. A variant first identified in Brazil, but now also known to exist in the United States and other parts of the world, shares two of the changes of the South African uh, variant, the asparagine uh, to tyrosine change at site 501 and the glutamic acid to lysine change in site 484. Um, but at site uh, 417, the lysine and the wild type strain is replaced by threonine. When one considers coronaviruses in general, uh, it is observed that mutations in the spike protein can be important in determining host specificity and the rate of transmission. Among the coronaviruses, uh, mutations have caused variation in the length of the spike protein ranging from uh, a little over 1,100 amino acids in length to more than 1,400 amino acids in length. So it is not surprising that A, there are mutations uh, which have changed the spike protein in the coronavirus causing uh, COVID-19, uh, or that B, that there is preliminary evidence that some of these mutations have effects on the rates of transmission and potentially uh, the uh, efficacy of uh, antibodies and vaccines against them.